Thanks for tuning in. I'm Trushi. Continue to bless this day, Lord. Bless each and every family that's represented here. Give them the desires of their heart. We ask you, Lord, that you will look over all our elected officials, Lord. Help them make sound decisions and right decisions for this constituents. We ask you, Lord, that you will continue to bless each business that's here in this community, that they may prosper and give back to the community that they serve. And we give your name an honor, the glory, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Bring Mr. Sherman Gibbons up, please, for a welcome. Hello, good morning everyone. Good morning. Hi, I'm the CEO of Sports Power Pro. Just want to welcome you guys out. Uh, we're looking for this to be a great networking event and help promote all the business owners in the strip. Uh, thank all the political people that are coming out here to support it. Uh, we look forward to it and everybody have fun. Thank you, Mr. Gibbons. If you are a business owner, please come to the front. All business owners to the front. We'll get a brief remarks. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm so happy everyone made it out. I'm so grateful that y'all came out to support your community district for 516. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for coming. We have the mayor here in the house. Praise God. We have a lot of other affiliations. The mayor took his time, and he's very busy at this time, to stop by, to bless the community, and also to support our businesses that we have here. Because we need to support each other. We can't do it without each other. So on that behalf, I will turn the mic over to Wayne. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. Thank you, Chef Blaze. Now it's my esteemed pleasure to introduce Mayor Lewis R. Jones. Mayor Jones was sworn in the office of mayor on May the 1st, 2018, following the resignation of Mayor Will Sessoms. He has served in the city council for more than 30 years, representing the Bayside district where we are today. He previously served as mayor from July 1st, 1982 to June 30th, 1984, and as vice mayor from November 1st, 2001 to April 30th, 2018. He is president and owner of Holloman Brown Funeral Home Incorporated and Tidewater Cemetery Corporation. He holds a bachelor's degree in business administration from the College of William & Mary in parentheses Old Dominion. <laughs> and he is graduate of Eccles College of Monterey Science. He's also a member of the Bayside Presbyterian Church. And now without further ado, the Honorable Mayor Lewis Jones. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I think it's appropriate, and I really do appreciate the fact that uh, we started with prayer this morning. That's what we do at City Council, at every City Council meeting. We start with prayer. We know that it's important that everybody.
everybody recognize that what we have and what we receive comes from God. It's a pleasure to be here with you. I am your Bayside District Council person in addition to uh, being the uh, interim mayor until uh, after the November election. And uh, so I, it gives me an opportunity to get out more to see the community, the overall community. Uh, and uh, I've enjoyed doing that very much. What we're about here today, though, is about small business. We're here about people who are entrepreneurs and are starting out, some of them for the first time, to build a, build a relationship with the community and build a business. I know what that's like. I started with one location in my business uh, back in 1962 when I bought out the, the previous owner the funeral home. And now I have nine locations. So I've been able to build a business as an entrepreneur and I know what it takes to do that. And I wanna tell you, you guys got guts. <laughs> Anybody who tries to operate a private business and build it like you folks are doing, well, you're doing a great job and you're a great addition to our community. I'd just like to recognize a few people who probably are here today. I, I met a couple of them. Uh, tire House and Rims, right here, right. He just told me that he has now 10 employees since he uh, started his business. I think that's great. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Ground View and Auto Detail. Here, okay. Auto de detail it. I I talked to him down yeah. here on the corner here just a little few minutes ago, and he told me that I, I believe he said he now has three employees, and that he's doing detail work with a dealership there over next door to him. He's building his business. Been in business a little more than six years, I think he said, which is great. Small business growing and getting and being successful. Uh, Ray Johnson's fireplace and patio. Ray Johnson. Ray right here. Yeah. Ray Johnson. <laughs> People like you that make it happen in Virginia Beach. Thank you again. Thank you. Uh, former councilwoman, City of Virginia Beach, and it is important because when. Grace Perth approached me and said, you know, we are wonderful small businesses in this area, but we hardly get to see our elected officials. Can we write a letter to Mayor Jones? Do you think he will come up? I said, all he can say is no. <laughs> Guess what? He's oh, here yes. with us. Let's go. give him a round of two hats right now, mayor and Bayside, and looking to be re-elected for Bayside. Let's support him. Yeah. Yeah, all right. okay. And now, yes, I will call all the community of Destiny, so you can please get a picture of this. This is important. Yes. Okay. Grace, see you all will do this presentation. Mayor Jones. Mayor Jones, on the behalf of every business that stand and represent here at this moment and at this time, would I, would I honor to honor you today for taking time out your busy schedule to recognize us and know that we do exist and that we're here to help build community, um, community to make them strong and to help support you as you do your job and go through this journey. On the behalf of every business that's out here, we would like to honor you with this gift. To let you know, to remind you, district, Bayside District, to let you know we love you, we are off, we always pray for you and your family, and that when you look at this, remember you are a star. <laughs>
about faith and, and all that about how we make it greater. Because great is not good enough for our future leaders. Our children will be our future doctors, yeah. our future lawyers, yeah. our future technicians, our future automotives, yeah. our future everything. Our future everything. This is our future yeah. everything. And we need to make sure that we sow into our future everything. So, I'm Seiko Varner, running for Virginia Beach School Board. Vote for me on November 6th. Dr. Ross Hammond, I thank you for this opportunity. Yeah. Peace and prosperity. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Tony Spencer, I'm representing Spencer Publishing Group, and right now I have the 2020 Hump brand logo that I'm starting, and basically just about everything that we do, you got to have a vision, you got to know where you want to go, and, and there are a lot of humps in life that we are always are trying to overcome, so that's why I have the new brand called the 2020 Hump, to, to help you get over your humps in life, and no matter what, you got to keep pushing as you can see on the back. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm from Russ Gatlin, pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church. And my motto is keep pushing too, but mine is a little different. Mine is pray until something happens. And then once you finish praying, then praise until something happens. Amen. So it's good to be here. We're at 965 Baker Road, and uh, we know the words of prayer. We ain't afraid to be Baptist, so come on over. event guys i was able to come to today and meet the mayor and vice mayor of virginia beach some great networking opportunities meeting different businesses owners and different people of political status so you know stuff that's good for business so I am enjoying this event I was invited to. It was very good. And I hope you enjoy the footage and the speeches. I served for 20 years in the Navy. So graduated from the Naval Academy and then I was a surface warfare officer and nuclear engineer. So I drove ships, I operated nuclear reactors on aircraft carriers, and then at the end of my career, I commanded a combat unit of 400 sailors here at Little Creek. So, uh, I'm running to represent the 2nd Congressional District. The 2nd District is very large. It includes not only Virginia Beach, but all of the Eastern Shore, part of Norfolk, so the north and west part of Norfolk, that includes Willoughby, Ocean View, the Naval Station, and then it goes across to the peninsula. It also includes Hampton, James City County, York County, and the city of Williamsburg. So it's a very, very big district, very diverse geographically, demographically, and uh, lots of communities here uh, within the district that need a representative in Washington who's willing to go and be a voice for things that are good for our families and for our communities. I served for 20 years in the Navy, so graduated from the Naval Academy and then I was a surface warfare officer and nuclear engineer. So I drove ships, I operated nuclear reactors on aircraft carriers, and then at the end of my career, I commanded a combat unit of 400 sailors here at Little Creek. So, Whoa. Uh, Woo. That's right. I uh, feel like my life's work has been serving our community, helping keep our nation safe, and I'd like to continue that work by representing you and this community in Washington. Also, I'm a small business owner, so about five years ago, uh, we started a small family-owned business, and it literally started with a block of clay at our kitchen table. Uh, you're probably all familiar with the mermaid statues around Norfolk and then the dolphins in Virginia Beach. So my husband and I were looking for a smaller version of the Norfolk mermaid for some friends who were moving away. And we couldn't find one. We went everywhere. We could find a bunch of mermaid things, but they weren't the Norfolk mermaid. So we said, let's just buy a block of clay and make one. So we sat at the kitchen table. We made it. We molded it. And I said, people would love to decorate these the same way artists decorated the original ones. So fast forward five years, 
Uh, we've grown our two studios into two locations, one in Norfolk on 21st Street, one out at the oceanfront on Laskin Road. And we've created 10 jobs in the community. And I know there's a lot of other small business owners here. And I think you can know how rewarding it is when you create something from nothing. And then you can provide for other people's well-being and um, you know, support the community. And we've had over 60,000 people come and create their own versions of the mermaids and dolphins. And uh, I tell people you can't go wrong with 17 colors of glitter and free wine. So uh, <laughs> you know, stop by any time and uh, enjoy creating your own mermaid. But the reason I bring it up in the campaign and especially amongst a group of other people who are small business owners in the community is I think it's important um, to have that experience as a small business owner, to have started a business from scratch, to have people on your payroll, people who depend on you for their livelihood, and also understand those challenges of small businesses in our community. And as a representative, it's important to be able to take that experience and you know, help create um, an environment where other small and family-owned businesses can succeed within our community. Also, you know, when I talk about the Navy, a lot of times it sounds like I'm talking about ships and steel and weapon systems and the machinery that I operated. But, but that's not what the Navy's about. It's about the people. It's about the sailors. And I always felt that my job as a leader was to create an environment where those people could succeed. And it's the same thing in our communities. It's the people who make our communities go. It's all of you. And so a job of a representative is to create an environment where the people and families in our communities can succeed. And what does that mean? We need someone who will be an advocate for quality, affordable health care, who will protect Social Security and Medicare. You know, the current tax bill that was passed incurred 1.9 trillion additional dollars in debt over the next 10 years. And that truly is going to be on the backs of our children and our grandchildren. And the current Congress is not shy at all about the fact that they want to cut Social Security and Medicare to make up for that voluntary loss in tax revenue. So we need an advocate in Washington who can fight for Social Security and Medicare. We've all worked hard through our lives. We've paid into Social Security. It's an earned benefit. It's a safety net program that allows you know, seniors to retire in dignity. So if people depend on it now, and our future generations depend on it as well. Uh, we also have the highest concentration of veterans of any district in the country. And so we need to make sure that we provide proper oversight and proper resources to the VA. We need an education system that works to provide opportunities for all. We need to really look at education from birth all the way through the workplace and how we can provide those skills that let young people, like many of you here, have great opportunities when you um, move into the workforce. So there's so many things that we need to do for our communities. And you know, I feel like in Washington right now, the three equal independent branches of government, the checks and balances that we should have, it just feels like it's eroding away. And the one thing that we can do now is we can vote in 24 days. We can vote on November 6th because if we want to change the conversation in Congress, we need to change the people in Congress. Yes. So I'm going to just wrap up by uh, telling you why I'm running. You know, I have a daughter who's nine years old, and her name's Violet. And also, up this weekend, I was up on the Eastern Shore, and I went to First Baptist Church in Cape Charles, and I walked in through a side room, and the children were finishing up their Sunday school. And I met a little girl named Layla, and she runs up to me. She says, is your daughter with you? Because she'd seen the commercial on TV. And I said, no, she's not. And I asked her how old she was, and she was nine as well. And so here I am. I'm thinking about Layla. I'm thinking about my daughter, Violet. And you know, 10 years down the road, when they're both old enough to vote in a presidential election for the first time, I don't want to tell either of them that I sat on the sideline. I want to know that I stepped forward, that I tried to do what I could with my experience in the military, my experience as a business owner in the community. I think those connect me to our community. And then I stood up and I tried to make a difference. And you know, I'm running because we're better than this. We are better than watching infants be ripped from their mother's breast at the border. And we are better than the fear of senseless gun violence that our children have when they go to school. I was recently at First Baptist Church in Capeville, and that congregation had just lost a young man the night before to gun violence in their community. And that's happening all over the place. We cannot allow that to happen. We need to have courageous leaders who will step forward and do things to solve the problem with gun safety in our community. And we are better than 
and watching a courageous woman stand up and tell her story and see her dragged through the mud. And we are better than the racism and the bigotry and the anti-Semitism that we saw in the streets of Charlottesville last year. So again, we need to make that heard, that we are better than that. So I urge you to vote on November 6th. I'm very excited as well to be able to help send Senator Tim Kaine back to Washington as our senator. And when you talk to folks about November 6th, tell your friends, your family, people at school, church, work, about November 6th. Just remember two simple words. Just tell them Kane and Elaine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. much because I am at sorry guys but this is my setup here for my home health company the wind is blowing so I didn't have it really neat I had to put my stand on it but I have my little forms for people interested in care send one inside your older family member may need help I have my business cards and my brochures looking pretty doing good this is where my office is right here right here yes doing big things and then this is let's get wasted my trainers and my t-shirts and I did make one sell today so we doing big things big things popping I'm waiting on her to come back and um yeah so this is a great event as you can see I was able to meet the mayor and the vice mayor and along with some other people and some councilmen it is voting time so you know they're making their their way around the neighborhood and doing some some events so hey y'all I'm so proud and happy I was able to make this and um, it's great it's always good to do things like this when you are up and coming and um, you're a new entrepreneur networking is Always important. All right, here we go. So, hey, Sweeney. Follow her. <laughs> YouTube channel. Well, my YouTube channel is Angel Boo, A N G E L B O N D. Subscribe to my channel. That's right, Boo. Do your thing. I love supporting you. Welcome. All right, guys, this is the food. If y'all can see, it's kind of dark in here. It's really pretty. So, y'all, it was dark in the inside. I couldn't get the lightning right on my camera, but this is what that food is looking like. Yes. And this event was sponsored by, let me see if you can see it. I have to get up, a community of destiny. My Aunt Grace owns this company, um, educating the youth on wellness and just eating right. She's also a chef. So she made all this bomb food, which I have been experiencing since literally a teenager <laughs> little kid so she definitely has it going on I was very honored to be invited to this and it was real nice it was really really nice and I'm enjoying it I am so I am looking forward to this entrepreneurship getting out there and doing bigger things and all that good stuff so professional and stuff. Y'all, this food, I'm gonna tell you. 
and grace. Mm. Y'all, she cook her tail off. Mm -mm. Okay, I'll be back. I'm about to enjoy my food.